Hi church, it's Kim Barnes Waterman here. I am coupling with High Mountain Prayer House. We're bringing you uh, a prayer vigil, uh, praying through Wayne County, our little Jerusalem, okay? We only have two towns left to pray through. It's been an exciting couple of months. I'm just praising God for every one of you that have been partnering with us, praying with us, fasting with us as we bring the kingdom of God to our little Jerusalem. Okay, today is Monday, June 5th, and we are praying our way through Marion. Uh, Marion is a small town here in Wayne County, New York, and it has about 48,000 residents, um, and that's all I know about it. So we're going to seek uh, the face of the Lord. Oh, wait, I do know they have a Masonic Lodge there. I do know that. Okay, so we're going to seek the Lord together as a prayer starter right now, and then we're going to continue to pray Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday this week from Marion, New York. If you are a uh, a Christian, if you are a prayer in Marion, please pray and also fast something over this next three days. We believe that it's going to boost our prayers before the Lord Jesus Christ. You have great authority in your hometown if you are a believing believer there. So stand up in the name of Jesus, put on your full armor, and be prepared to intercede for your hometown. And we want to thank you for doing that with us. Okay, let's pray for Miriam. Heavenly Father, we come before you today in Jesus' name, believing that you are sovereign Lord over all things. Lord, we thank you that you give your people mission and you give your people assignments and that we go forth and we walk in those assignments. And God, when we do things according to your word, we know that we are um, promoting the kingdom of God. We know that we're going to see advancement. We know that your word works because the Lord watches over his word to perform it. So we are so excited to be partnering with you in this prayer time through Wayne County. And Father, we have landed our feet in Marion, New York. This is a, a little town in our Wayne County, Father, and we just bless Marion today. We ask you, Lord God, that you would bring forth all the, the thoughts that you have for it, the good thoughts that you think over Marion and over its citizens and over its churches and over its people, the good thoughts that you think towards Marion. God, we pray that they would um, come alive this year in 2017. Father, all the seeds that you have sown in Mary, New York, through other prayers, through other faithful Christians, Lord God, we, we call them to come alive in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, we just see uh, flowers that are beginning to bloom in Marion, New York, Father. We believe we're going to see a newness of spring in Marion, New York, Lord God. Father, maybe through the trials and situations that they've gone through, God, that this would be uh, the, their new day in Marion, New York. Father, there's people in Marion who need a new day. They need a new day. They need some hope. They need some encouragement, God. They've been looking for a new day. Their winter has been very, very long. Oh, Lord God, and you know it. You know their winter season has been long. It's been a dark night for them, some of them for years in Marion, New York, God. But we call for spring in Marion, New York. We call forth blossoms, uh, blossoms, uh, uh, flowers coming to blossom, new life, uh, new fragrances, oh God, for sunshine, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We ask that people would feel new. God, Father, we pray that new beginnings um, for Marion, New York. Father, even as a community, a new beginning for Marion, New York, Heavenly Father. A new beginning individually and in families and as a community unit, God. A new beginning for churches, Lord God, where the enemy tried to like burn things out with fire. And, and like I see a building that was burnt with fire and then there's like the, the planks over it so nobody can get into it. But the buildings are still there. But um, Lord, thank you, Father, that you, uh, you love this people and you have made sure that the enemy was not allowed to destroy Father, what the enemy wanted to come in and destroy and burn to the ground. Uh, Father, you have still buildings standing, Lord, but the fragrance of like the su and the fire, that stuff lingers for a long time. So we're just praying into the New Day vision for Marion, New York, for the people, the churches, and the community as a whole. God, a new day, Lord God. And Father, as these buildings can be uh, swept out, God, they're not buildings that have to be condemned and tore down. In Jesus' name, these are buildings that can be restored. They look like they can't be restored, but they can be restored by the grace of God. 
The buildings are still standing. Yes, there's been fire. Yes, there has been a sweeping through. Yes, there has been demonic infiltration. There's been a hopelessness in a lot of places. But God says that I see the building. The building is still standing. And yes, there's boards over it, like don't come in. But it has not been condemned. God says, I can restore. I can rebuild. Spring is here for you, Mary in New York. Not only in the flowers and in the scents, you know, the smells and the, and the blossoms, but in the buildings themselves, God says restoration is coming. God can make anything out of anything. He is the creator. Is he not the one that spoke into nothing? Spoke into nothing and said, let there be light and there was light. So God can speak into these burnout places. God can do that and he can restore. He can use anything. He can make new again. Today is a new day for you, Mary, in New York. Today is a new day for the churches and a new day for the community. Where the winter has been long and hopelessness has set in, God brings a fresh winter of spring. God will restore and renew. These buildings are being rebuilt by the grace of God, by the strength of God, by the power of God, and they will house a new glory. Father, if that's individual people or families or churches, they will house a new glory. You will not be condemned. I pray against condemnation right now. The enemy wants to bring a lot of condemnation into people's lives, into groups of people, maybe families, maybe churches, to say you are useless, you're used up, you're no good, it's passed by, it can't be rebuilt again. But God says, I saw the building. God, there was not a condemn sign on there. There were planks, but no condemn sign. Condemn sign. God says, I do do not condemn my people. I restore my people. I see your long winter. I come to bring spring. Stand up, Mary, New York, and smell the fragrance of spring that I'm going to bring into your community. You're physically, Lord God, physically give them a smell of spring. Let them be refreshed and encouraged and strengthened. Thank you, Father, that how much do you love this Marion? How much do you love this Marion? We praise you, God, for this. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We release Marion into your hands, God. You watch over your word to perform it. We believe by faith, God, that what we have spoken through your unction, we shall see. Thank you, Lord God. Um, do not, what is that scripture that's coming to my mind? Um, I would have despaired lest I believed that I was going to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah. There's been despair, but believe to see the goodness of the Lord is coming in the land of the living. Not when you're dead in the sweet by and by. That's another deal. Praise God. But in this lifetime, you are not condemned. You are being restored in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. So, Father, we pray. Join us in prayer the next three days from Marion, New York. Let God lead you in prayers. If you are a Christian in Marion, stand up. Stand up. The smell of spring is in the air in Jesus' name. See you next time.